Okay folks, I'd like to welcome you to the CacheFX Getting Started tutorial. The first thing you'll need to get is your sponsor's referral link. Make sure it's correct and then place it within your browser and then click on register. All right, so this is a very easy uh, form. You'll just need to fill out your information. You're going to put your first name, your last name, your username, your email, your password, Make sure you agree to the terms and policy, and you're not a robot, and then you're going to create your account. Now to complete your registration process, simply go over to your email account and uh, you'll see an email from CashFX. Once you open your email, you're just going to find the link that they sent you and click on it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do once uh, you clicked on your confirmation link, uh, it will take you to this page here, and it just wants you to authorize the device that you're on, uh, whether it be your cell phone or your computer, doesn't matter. Um, it will send you an email. Again, you're going to want to go to your email, get this code, put it in here, confirm it, and then your device will be linked to your account. All right, once you get to the, past that step, then now it's going to ask you to uh, pick the, um, the pack that you wish to have. Of course, you're going to want the most popular, which is um, the Academy and the Trading Pack. All right, here's an example of uh, four of the uh, several packs available. It goes all the way up to $100,000, but in this scenario, um, we're going to look at the $300 package, which is a 300, um, 300, um, 500, and 1,000 in this case represents dollars. So even though it doesn't have the dollar sign, that's the cost of the package. So let's go ahead and uh, purchase the $300 package. So on this screen, you're just going to confirm your name and your email address and then uh, of the terms of conditions you're just going to click on the uh, little box there and then you will uh, click on continue all right this is the uh, confirmation page of your purchase uh, just make sure that um, you read it carefully uh, if you are using a wallet that does not include the fees, then you're going to um, actually add a few dollars more uh, to make sure that your account is triggered and activated. I use Exodus Wallet, which includes all the fees, so I never have to add anything. I just send the exact amount, and it's always it always triggers the account or the purchase. So then after you read that, go ahead and click Confirm Order. Okay, now you are on the invoice page to where you're going to copy the exact Bitcoin amount, in this case $300, and you're also going to need to copy the address to send your funds to. Now if you're using your phone, of course you can use the scan the, uh, the QR code and uh, um, it will give that information. I happen to use Exodus Wallet, so this is what my wallet looks like. And as you see here, I've uh, pasted the uh, the address in this send box, as well as the uh, exact Bitcoin amount. And you can see it's exactly $300.55, so it includes the, the, the fees. So now you just need to send the funds, and you're good to go. After you've sent the funds, uh, you will get a check mark. It will say payment is received, has been received, and uh, to wait for the confirmations. Um, and once the confirmations go through, your account will get activated. So once you make your package purchase, now you're just going to wait a few minutes for uh, the funds to arrive and once it does, you will get an email from CashFX and letting you know that you are good to go. 
So once you get your uh, confirmation email stating that your account is active, you can go back to your account, log in, and you will get this uh, prompt uh, wanting you to set up your two-factor authentication um, feature. And this is just a, uh, another way to secure your account. Now, it does give you step-by-step uh, -step directions on how to set this up with uh, Google Authenticator. Um, but I personally, I like uh, another one. It's called Authy. Now, the reason I like Authy is because uh, you're not stuck to your phone to get uh, the, the um, authenticator code. Um, so if you uh, wish to use your computer and, uh, you, or you don't have your phone around, whatever, uh, you can use both, either your phone or the computer, and it works just fine. Um, I don't like the idea on uh, having just an authenticator on your phone because if you lose it, if it blows up, um, it's, you're going to have a hard time trying to get that back. So I like this. Um, it works great. Um, you're just going to, it's, the site is authy.com. And once you get there, you can uh, either download an app um, onto your phone or you can download it directly from the computer. So once you download the app onto your computer or your phone, uh, you're just going to open up and then look for the, the little crosshairs up at the top right hand corner and uh, click on that to create a new account. It's going to ask you um, to put in the, um, the secret uh, key so that you can connect your um, CashFX account to the 2FA, 2FA account. That key is found in the step uh, step one of the process for setting it up. It's You can either scan it, of course, with your phone, or you can copy and paste the secret key from, from this location. So from the CashFX site, you're going to capture this secret key code and then place it within the, uh, the Authy app so that you're connecting the account to your authenticator and then you just click on add account. So now that you've connected your CashFX account to the authenticator, you're go going to uh, create a name for this so that you can find it later and then click on save. Now that you've created your uh, CashFX account in the authenticator, you're going to see this six digit code uh, that changes every 30 seconds. And then that code you're going to want to place in the step two box um, for the verification purpose. So once you click on that, click on verify, and uh, then the two factor authentication uh, box will show that it's enabled. You'll just click on that and you're connected. So now that you have everything set up and connected, now you just want to verify that by um, typing in a, uh, your code from your authenticator and just placing it within this box here where, it's, where you uh, want to test it. And then click on test and you should be connected. Okay, so now once you confirmed your uh, 2FA, uh, you're able to get into your dashboard this is your back office and you can see down here on the bottom left uh, your 300 package that you just purchased okay from within your back office I'd like to direct you uh, to the top of your dashboard uh, where you have a series of drop-down tabs and there's a lot of information you'll find in there and, and I won't go through all these but I just want to uh, make you aware that uh, occasionally they add new content um, so just be aware of that. Um, but specifically, um, I'd like you to look at under the account tab, go down to your payment history. And um, a lot of people wonder when they first purchase a package, you know, when, when can I expect it to earn? Well, the answer is 72 hours, but this will specifically tell you the, the exact date uh, in which your package will begin earning. So once you click on that, uh, you can see your deposit history uh, when you made the deposit as well as 
when you will start earning. And in this case, I deposit it on the 23rd of November, and it will start earning on the 26th, which is 72 hours from your deposit date. It's always 72 two hours, so just uh, uh, something that uh, is nice to know. One final thing I'd like you to pay attention to under the Finance tab is the Trading Pool. Now here's where you're going to see your daily uh, trading results. It will be posted here Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, it's going to get emptied out and uh, be sent over to your dashboard balance. So in this example, the funds that was earned from the previous week was wiped out and was sent over to your account uh, balance, which you can see here. Now, the minimum is $100, and if you have $100 or more, you can actually uh, put in for a withdrawal request. Uh, you can see here uh, under bear capital the same amount that was received. Um, you can also see under your progress uh, in the bear side of, of your earnings, um, you'll see that ticker and that will um, change. You know, as your as your earnings increase over time, that will increase to 200%. Uh, same here on on your package. That will increase as well as you'll see a nice running um, total there. Now, when you have $100 or more under your uh, account balance, you can uh, click on under the Finance tab. You can click on uh, Withdraw Balance, and then you'll be prompted here to enter your Bitcoin address if you haven't already done so, and then, of course, your authenticator code. I happen to be using the Exodus wallet, so this is what it's going to look like. You just click on the Receive under your Bitcoin wallet, um, and then you'll get this screen, and then you'll just copy this address from here. So you're going to uh, paste that address directly into here, and then put in your authenticator code, and verify everything's correct. Click on Save, and you're done. Well, this wraps up the uh, getting started process with CashFX. I hope it's been beneficial to you. And if you have any questions, please get back with your sponsor.